Good day, my friends. This is your doctor, Dr. Digamber Naik. Well, today I do want to say something about eco or echocardiography. As a cardiologist, I've been, I've been doing a lot of echoes, and that fascinates me because just by putting a probe on your heart, I tell the patient practically what is happening inside his body the whole day. Today morning. One young man comes to me, 32 year old, for a routine echo, for a fitness. I do an echo and I tell him, "My boy, you are hypertensive. You have a high blood pressure." He says, "No, doctor. I've never been a high blood pressure. I don't have it. I don't feel anything, and all that sort of thing." So I checked his whole thing. He had all the signs that the blood pressure causes on the heart. your pressure is a pressure inside the heart so what happens heart is the first organ which gets damaged because of blood pressure and the arteries and then the damage goes on after i finished my echo i recorded his blood pressure three times for him to be convinced and it was high as expected so friends this is echo wherein you use ultrasound to look at your heart and you can look at so many things you can look at the walls of the heart you can look at the valves of the heart you can look at various chambers you can see how the blood flows through various chambers you know if particular area of the heart is getting less blood supply you know if there are blockages you know if there are impending blockages blockages coming tomorrow you can know if your heart is failed you can know if the heart is about to fail or you can know what are uh, various problems which can come into the heart even tomorrow you can actually look at that echo and predict okay well you you can live long or you can you, you have a short life so much information is available today with the types of echo studies that we do in any condition Um, uh, uh, say say you, you want to be made fit for anesthesia you need an echo you want to be me- made fit for your job you need an echo you want to be fit for a uh, sports you need an echo in fact in sportsman echo is a must that's one investigation which will give the sportsman his complete life there are problems sometimes inside the heart if they are not checked by an echo you do find these young sportsmen scoring a goal and dropping down dead these problems could be identified look at the lung looking at the echo of the heart you can see the condition of the lung because the heart and the lung are interconnected the science of echo is so well developed today that it has become sub specialties like we have a trans thoracic echo you have a trans esophageal echo you have a contrast echo you have a 3d echo you have a 4d echo you have a speckled uh, 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 tracing and you have a strain rate as separate branches of echo especially cancer when you are taking chemotherapy or radiation in cancer what happens is these drugs do affect the heart and your echo can tell you that they are harming your heart and they can help you to time these drugs very well so that these drugs tomorrow will not have an effect on your heart on a plain echo i can know the biochemical changes inside the body like you have a low sodium you have a high potassium you have a kidney failure you have a stroke and so many things inside your body friends with echo you can see your heart yourself if i show you exactly what is wrong with a particular valve or particular point inside your heart don't you think you will be in a much better condition to understand that problem and to take care of it perfectly friends echo is so easy to do no side effect you can keep on doing it a number of time you can keep on repeating it with better expert 
you can send the CD that you have done it to, to any expert in the world and you can get a much better opinion on that if you want. So friends, what you, what you should do before any major procedure on your heart, see that your doctor does an echo on you and gives you the condition as to where you stand. And taking use of echo, you will be able to be... So I think I have just summarized, okay, and... Uh... Now, I, let me go a little bit into it detail. Now that I have time, let me mark my time, okay? Because this is a huge presentation. You will lo start loving uh, when you see the uh, videos, okay? Now, all of us are managing our heart patients. All of you have to treat your heart patients. How do you treat them? Take a history, good clinical examination, do a few blood tests, do an ECG, and you know how effective or non-effective or confusing your ECG is. Eco, my friends, is the best investigation in your hands as on now, especially with the new normals that we are doing, okay? We are looking at speckle tracking as a routine thing today. And your diagnosis comes to you immediately. Your patient can be shown his own heart. Okay? Now. Now, this has been today also used as point of care ultrasound. Now, ultrasound has been a common tool for anybody and everybody who manages the patient. In your ER room, you need ultrasound. In your casualty department, you need ultrasound. In your operation theater, you need ultrasound. In your ultrasound unit room, definitely you have your ultrasound, okay? But the, uh, this is, these are all the places where, why, where it is being used today. Why do you need ultrasound? First is immediate diagnosis. Your diagnosis is in your hand. Immediate direction for a proper patient management as well as for follow-up of your patient. Intensivists use it. Your anesthetist use it. A casualty doctor, this is a big tool in his hand. In everybody who doing a peripheral practice as a general physician, you must try to have this eco machine with you. And in, in uh, and now there are emergency medicine specialists. You have a DM after MD in uh, emergency medicine. Why do we need it? Okay, just basically to need the um, case fully. Yes, you need to take a little bit of effort to acquire the skills in Im imaging. And ultrasound gives you the diagnosis as well as direction in the management of the patient. Especially in critical care, focus on cardiac and uh, the, uh, thoracic, pleura and lung, you have your diagnosis today. Ultrasound is used for a lovely diagnosis on lung. We don't need an x-ray chest, okay? Vascular, DVT, peripheral arterial disease, abdominal screening is so simple. There was a time when I was practicing Abdomen was called a magic box, and they, they, they should uh, put cases, okay? Open, uh, they didn't know what was diagnosis, and it was always labeled as open and close, open and proceed. Today, you have an ultrasound, and there's nothing called a difficult case, ab uh, abdominal uh, case today. And all procedural uh, guidance can be done under this and for serial assessment. Now, this echocardiography is now become a specialty or super specialty by itself. There are people who are only adult echocardiographer. There are people who are only pediatric echocardiographer or stress echo. You have trans thoracic echo, you have trans esophageal echo. You have a special branch of echo in cancer patient. Especially in US, every, every person, is, any, any drug used in cancer or your radiation is going to harm heart. And you can, ECO can tell you whether it is really harming the heart and you can time your chemotherapy according to, uh, and, and look at the safety of the patient. Critical care sonography in your critical care room, it is a must. Interventional ECO, for all interventional procedures, we put a probe directly inside the heart and monitor it. And therapeutic ECO, yes, a time will come where the high intensity ultrasound will be used to open up the clots 
into your coronary arteries. So let's uh, try and become a part of that. Emergency department, all critical care patients should have a sonography. Abdomin maybe abdominal, testicular, early obstetric, musculoskeletal, rupture of a tendon can be uh, identified the best on an ultrasound. Ocular, you have a B scan for your eyes, okay? And in any time, this is what I'm talking about, a physician doing it, a simple MBBS doctor doing it, and in all cases, you can always give a call to a, an expert sonographer. Okay, life-threatening uh, cases like cardiogenic shock, congestive cardiac failure, pericardial tamponade, severe reduction, systolic function, massive pulmonary embolus, pneumothorax. We, knew, we knew how much trouble we used to get to make the right diagnosis today. It has been that simple. I've got a lot of videos. I don't think I'll go through all of them. Let me... Uh, let me quickly uh, leave them off because I do have a message to be. Uh, this is an abdominal ultra. Uh, this is your chest ultrasound showing a pneumothorax. Patient in failure, patient with low systolic function, fibrillating patient, pericardial tamponades. It's so you are you're looking at this pericardial effusion. You know this tuberculosis is the ca cause of this. Uh, Fusion, okay. Now look at the septa into the pericardial, okay. So simple. I will go through them because I don't think I, I'm, I'm, I just got five minutes more. Use in your cardiac arrest. We have a cardiac arrest, and we many times we struggle there. This is one place where we can make a good use of echo. Emergency should have an ultrasound machine, okay. And thoracic lung ultrasound today is, is beautifully done. We have understood. And initially, we used to say the air is an enemy of ultrasound, and we could not do the, the ultrasound in air. Now, what we use is a contrast effect. We use the same effect where the ultrasound is not able to pass to make all this diagnosis today. And it's so, so easy. Little bit of fusion, pneumothorax. Okay, cardiogenic shock. DVT and PE. This is one diagnosis we remember initially we used to always miss. S1, Q1, Q3, Q3, Q3 and P3 was our only diagnosis. But by the time this diagnosis comes, patient is already halfway out. Okay? Now this can be, now you can make a DVT or a PE in your, in the diagnosis just at any level. And, and end up in saving that patient pretty early. Okay. Your abdominal ultra ultrasound, all these diagnoses are so simple to make. You don't need a radiologist to give you a diagnosis of uh, on an ultrasound. See. Making a diagnosis on an ultrasound has been pretty easy with us physicians because you make a clinical diagnosis and then just you put your ultrasound there and you are able to uh, spot it out. Ultrasound in trauma. Ultrasound can be used for diagnosis of or, or helping all this procedure, whether it's thoracosynthesis, paracentesis, regional anesthesia, lumbar puncture, central venous catheter, arterial puncture, um, your abscess drainage, arthrocentesis, airway management, ectopic pregnancy, so simple, ovarian cyst. Both can look mimic similar. You can see a, a bleeding due, due to an ectopic pregnancy. Testicular sonography. Soft tissue and musculoskeletal sonography, the rupture of the rotator cuff, rupture of these tendons in sportsmen, okay? The best way to diagnose is an ultrasound. You can diagnose even a, uh, uh, even a fracture on an ultrasound today. Even when your x-ray is not showing. Today, yes, for all fracture, we send them for CT scan because uh, that's, way, that's the way we lo look at it. Uh, but ultrasound can be used with the same effect. The rupture of a tendon, okay? ocular sonography, okay? rupture, uh, global rupture of foreign bodies, retinal detachment, 
lens dislocation, vitreous hem hemorrhage, evaluation, and intracranial pressure. Now, all so, uh, the, the ophthalmologists have started having their own ultrasound machine for uh, during the and doing the beat scan. This is abdomen distended colon. So it has been that simple to, to make it. All that initially you need is a little bit of effort, a little bit of learning to, OK? I'm just going through this. Now what has happened, OK? Now, many times people get scared to give an opinion on ECO because it is a little bit difficult, OK? Now you have an ECO report being done on online. All that you can do is get your machine, ask, get a technician, train him to take ECO videos of the patient, send his, these videos across, and I will give you the complete report signed by a cardiologist, okay? So this is easily happening so that at all peripheral levels where you are not able to get a cardiologist, you can have a very well developed ECO uh, being uh, given to the patient. Just a I'm just going through a minute, okay? So this is a uh, distant tele -eco medicine that we have it. You get an, a report signed by a cardiologist. These are all the details of it. I won't, uh, uh, can't go through it. And on top of it now, today, we can manage a full-fledged uh, cardiac clinic at peripheral level where the cardiologist is not available. You have a distant ECG, you can report a distant echo, a distant TMT, culture monitor distantly, sleep study, you can do it online, clinical, full clinical history and advice, and a video con a conferencing with a cardiologist. You do not, at the peripheral level in our country, you do not need a cardiologist to run a complete, full-fledged, distant cardiac clinic. So thank you, friends. Thank you so much. So my, my effort was, because I've been doing a lot of work in spreading the knowledge of ECO, making people aware, please start doing an ECO on your patients, okay, where you can manage them in the most efficient way. And this is the most effective way of looking at it. This is the investigation, which is cheap. ECO can be given, some hospitals are giving ECO for even 500 rupees. And all that test, some of, some of them are ch charging up to 2000. So with that little money, you can get much more investigation and that too quickly. And it, this can be serially followed. Okay, thank you so much.